Adam Schiff thought he scored the biggest victory in the Democrats' attempted coup against Donald Trump. Democrats emerged from one closed-door session brimming with confidence that they had the smoking gun to remove President Trump from office. But then Sean Hannity went on TV and revealed one truth that had Adam Schiff panicking. The so-called mainstream media whipped themselves into a frenzy after Ukrainian ambassador Bill Taylor's opening statement leaked. Taylor read a 15-page opening statement before Adam Schiff's Stalinist impeachment witch hunt. In it, Taylor claimed to lay out a detailed account of how the Trump administration put in place a scheme to pressure the Ukrainian government to investigate Joe Biden by withholding nearly $400 million in military aid. But after the initial frenzy of stories about Taylor's supposedly devastating testimony, it became apparent this effort to frame the president by unelected deep state bureaucrats and the Democrats blew up in their faces. Republicans emerged from Taylor's testimony revealing that under questioning from Republican committee staffers, Taylor's claims collapsed. South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham also went on Sean Hannity's Fox News program and revealed his intention to introduce a resolution condemning Adam Schiff's illegal and un-American impeachment coup attempt. Yeah, so this resolution puts the Senate on record condemning the House for the future of the presidency, we cannot allow future presidents and this president to be impeached based on an inquiry in the House that's never been voted upon that does not allow the president to confront the witnesses against him, call witnesses on his behalf, and cross-examine people who are accusing him of misdeeds. Democrats and their allies in the so-called mainstream media hoped Taylor's opening statement would drive a wedge between Donald Trump and congressional Republicans. But despite a series of selective leaks designed to overhype his testimony, Taylor's appearance was another dud. Donald Trump's support among congressional Republicans, especially in the Senate, held firm. And that means Democrats' ultimate goal of convincing 20 Republican senators to vote to remove him from office is out of reach. If you are sick and tired of all the fake news from the so-called mainstream media and want real news that you can trust, please hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel.